We have a wonderful uh, afternoon planned for you. I was going to say evening, probably because of the way I'm dressed. Uh, uh, and we have some wonderful guests with us as well. You can see some people with us wearing red ties who may look just a little bit older than some of our other musicians. And they are some of our alumni members from the years of Arthur Delamont. Uh, the reason that we're doing this concert in honor of Arthur Delamont, he's no longer with us, he uh, hasn't been since the early 80s, but it's very important that we don't forget our history. All of these musicians that are currently members of the band are connected to that history. As we go into September, we'll be starting our 85th season. This is a long tradition, and we mustn't forget everything that came before us. Arthur Delamont directed this band for 25 years, from 1933 to 1958, and he set the standard. He set the standard for every young musician in this city with the Kids Boys Band, this band, the original UBC band, the Point Grey Band, and so many other organizations that he led, and the number of musicians that he taught, some of whom carried on as professionals, but most of whom carried on into other things in life. Uh, people that have had, you know, a little bit of success in their life, like Jimmy Patterson. Uh, who says that a lot of the lessons that he learned, the discipline that he needed to be a success in business, he learned in the Kitsilano Boys Band. So Delamont taught a lot of things besides just music. The reason we're doing this concert now is, as Cynthia mentioned, I'm catching up. I'm finishing my 23rd year, and I wanted to make sure that we did this concert where we can still say that he is the longest serving conductor of this band before I tie him. <laughs> and checking my pulse, and hopefully pass him, maybe. We'll see. So, uh, carrying on, the next piece we're going to do, and by the way, the music that I've selected for this, it's not necessarily music that was part of the history of the, of the Kids Boys Band, but I selected pieces that reflected the styles of music that Mr. Delamont liked. I, I never got a chance to meet him, but I've heard many recordings, and I've heard even more stories about the band and the music they played. Certainly a march, like that uh, Holst march, he loved to play marches, and it's tradition to open a concert with a march. The next piece is by Charles Ives, uh, a wonderful American composer. Most of his music, sadly, has been lost uh, over time, but this piece exists intact, and it, in it includes a brass sextet who are coming on stage now. And, It's a wonderful piece uh, based on uh, the hymn, Jerusalem the Golden. <laughs> 